I'm excited to eat leftovers tomorrow. That food was so good. I wanted to make the banana pudding so bad last night, but I knew I was just gonna eat and go to sleep and that's not good, so yeah. I already have mostly everything in a bag all together. Let me get everything else, my bowls and stuff out and we're gonna make this banana pudding. I think I have everything that I need here. I have my mixer out. I like chessmen cookies. My man like vanilla wafers. I like vanilla wafers too, but I got chessmen, so we're gonna do half and half. <laughs> Cause I'm extra like that. And let's get this all set up. All right, my cream cheese has been sitting out all morning, getting nice and soft. I got a knife over here to cut my bananas. I also gotta get some milk. Two cups of milk. Let's see if we got two cups of milk left in here. Nope. Wow, literally exactly one cup. It won't even overflow. It's exactly one cup. Okay. See, that's why I got some more milk yesterday because I knew we was getting down to the bottom of this one. <laughs> and cup number two. Y'all, I thought I was recording that whole time. I poured in like a pack and a half of French vanilla pudding mix and now I'm blending it together. I push that bowl to the side and then I'm gonna use another bowl like I used last night, like a Tupperware type of bowl. And I'm gonna put in the softened cream cheese. Whoa! That literally just tried to fly out. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now, you're making me look bad. Then I'm adding the sweetened condensed milk. There's just one can. Now let's blend these. I'm gonna just keep it on one so that it doesn't fly all over, but it's gonna mix easy because the cream cheese is already soft. And you just wanna mix it, make sure this gets nice and smooth, no clumps. All the cream cheese gets incorporated. Put y'all in the bowl. Next, we got the whipped cream. So I just used most of this container. I don't know, y'all can see. I tried to leave what looks like four ounces left in there, but don't quote me. <laughs> I'm gonna put that to the side. I might dip some strawberries or something in that later. And then I'm gonna get this folded into this bowl. Um, I feel like no matter what, you can't go wrong with how much whipped cream you put in there because it's banana pudding. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it gonna do? I don't know. I'm about to try to mix this together. Hold on, I'm gonna have to transfer this to a bigger bowl. Clearly I'm way off track because I thought that I was pressing record when really I was pressing stop. So all of the clips that I was supposed to record, I turned the camera off. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm just layering this right now. I'm doing cookies, bananas, filling. I'm team banana. I know a lot of people say that they don't like bananas in their banana pudding, so they use banana pudding flavored, um, they use banana flavored pudding instead of actually putting bananas in there, but me on the other hand, oh, I'm finna turn up. <laughs> I like bananas in my banana pudding. I don't like that once they're exposed to the air, they start browning, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. So I'm just putting a banana on each layer and I'm using the bowl that I used to mix this in. I ended up transferring the pudding over to a different bowl and I'm gonna build this in this bowl because this is really the only bowl that I would like to have in the fridge. I don't like to put um, metal into the fridge. I don't know why, but yeah. I think that need a little bit more because the bowl is starting to get whiter at the top. So I think I need a little bit more banana. So this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna clean the sides of this bowl so it could be real pretty and presented. But I put a bunch of cookies, a bunch of bananas, and then I'm gonna put another layer of the filling. And then I'm gonna save some of those cookies over there so that um, once this softens up after like a day or so in the fridge, we can have a little crunch. That's extra, maybe, but that's what we finna do. Look at this banana pudding. Mm, it looks so good, y'all. Like I said, I cleaned up the edges and I'm about to cover it and put it in the fridge so it can get nice and cold. I just got done. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> you scared me. You scared me. Yeah, where the cover? Okay, I got you. I just finished making a banana pudding and then I started cutting up some chicken for dinner and I said, 
we should do a cooking video. <laughs> we should do another cooking video. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I just cleaned and cut up three chicken breasts. The chicken breasts were huge. They were huge. Now I wanted to marinate them and I was thinking about putting some of these um, chipotles in adobo sauce, but I just tasted it and I don't know if my man's gonna like it. So I think I'm gonna only do some. I'm gonna put some chicken in a separate container and marinate it with this. It's got a little bit of spice and it's like a little bit of a, um, I don't know the flavor, how to describe it, but I don't know if he would like that. So I'm not gonna cover it on all the chicken. The baby is currently asleep. So I wanted to hurry up and do this chicken <laughs> before he wakes up so that I can, you know, clean and sanitize my hand and clean and sanitize the kitchen before he got back up. Okay, so this is all the chicken I'm leaving regular. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this Chipotle. Is that what it was called? Chipotle, yeah, Chipotle in a double sauce. I know what I'm talking about. I'll put a little bit, oh, oh, ooh. Y'all think that's Jeremiah in the bathroom sending me a dick pic? Or no? Can y'all see that? The whole, like the whole peppers are in there. Can y'all see that? And it's a nice reddish color. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna marinate this and marinate that separately. For this bag, I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in there and season it up. Mm. It's literally only three o'clock, so I'm just getting this all prepped up. We're doing Chipotle at home, so I'm literally making my own everything. I'm making some pico, I'm making guac, I'm making cilantro lime rice, I have black beans, pinto beans, um, corn, salsa, y'all, I got everything. Everything. My mouth is literally watering. <laughs> my mouth is literally watering thinking about it, so let's get into it. I guess I'll go ahead and include this as part of the uh, cooking vlog. My baby wanted a sandwich for lunch, so I'm about to drop some bread in the toaster and cut up some veggies. So I lightly toasted the bread. We're gonna put extra mayonnaise. Valencia, if you're watching this, mind your business. Okay, extra mayonnaise, and then I'm gonna just put mustard on one side. Ripped off a little bit of lettuce, and I got some tomatoes right here, and I'm gonna put salt and pepper on the tomatoes. He wants some onions today, so I'm going to slice. Using all ham today, so I'm gonna lay down the tomatoes. And that's it. Put a little sour cream and onion ruffles on there. You want something to drink, baby? Uh, yeah, okay. Pepsi it is. I have a whole lot of chopping to do. Hey, big boy. It got crazy, real fast. Okay, my camera died, but I've been over here chopping my life away. I have officially decided that as soon as I'm done chopping everything, I'm about to go on Amazon and order that chopper that you pull down and just hit. Yeah, yeah, I need that. I need that, because look at this. Tomatoes, white onions, red onions, all of this avocado, jalapeno that I put inside of the guacamole, jalapeno that's going inside the pico de gallo. I got corn right here. Cilantro is up next and I need a lot of this because I need it for my guac, I need it for my um, cilantro lime rice. So let me go ahead and chop some of this up. I'm using red onions for my guac and for my corn salsa and then I'm using white onions for my pico. So I'm about to take some of these tomatoes and put them into here and then all of this cilantro is going with the guac and I'm gonna get a whole other bunch to use for this other stuff. I'm gonna toss up my corn salsa. I rinsed off the corn. I just used a can of corn. I rinsed it off a couple of times. I added the onion, I added the cilantro. So we are gonna toss that up and make it look like something. I'm not gonna put jalapenos in here cause I already have it in the pico and in the guac and I don't wanna burn my man. <laughs> I have pinto beans and black beans that I'm about to rinse off. That's gonna be real quick. And then I'm gonna make the rice. Um, I'm not gonna brown it in the pan like I feel like I should do with like butter and let it get all that. I'm just gonna make this, add the cilantro, the lime, season it and do it like that. And then I'm about to get my big pan out so we can make the chicken. The rice is cooking. Black beans, pinto beans, oil in the pan to fry the chicken. Not fry, but you know what I'm saying. This is both things of our chicken from earlier, all seasoned and marinated. Uh-oh. The baby is up. The chicken is frying up. I know y'all see the little divided line right here. This is the one with the chipotles and adobo. But this, the sasson turned it kind of orange, so 
aesthetically it's not giving Chipotle, but taste wise, we gonna see. I need my five for these fuck niggas. Yeah, I need my five for these fuck niggas. We about to fluff up this rice, add the lime, the cilantro, season it. Before I took it off the heat, I added some butter to it, so I'm just mixing this all up. Everything. <laughs> yeah, it go. Y'all, we about to plate this up real quick. This look pile high, but it's really not. The rice and the chicken are just at the bottom, and then I just put everything else on top. I should have put this in a bowl, but I had already committed. It was too late, so this is what it is. I'm cleaning off my stove right now, but I put all the leftovers away. I have my breast pumps in, doing my nighttime pump, so if y'all hear that, that's what it is. But we started watching Planet of the Apes while we ate, y'all. When I tell you every bite of that food was so good, like, I'm excited to eat leftovers tomorrow. That food was so good. <sighs> and my baby loved it. He loved it. It was so good, y'all. So I'm gonna make sure the kitchen looks good, then I'm gonna go back upstairs. We're gonna finish our movie, and then we'll probably have dessert after that. Look at this masterpiece. Layered to perfection. Y'all, good night, good night.